guys, it is Tanya and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another apartment renovation. I'm back once again in 930 Medina Studios to work on the next installment of this apartment series where I'm turning 930 Medina Studios in San Myshuno into four different apartments. But before we get into the theme that we're going to be working with today, I just wanted to remind you guys that I'm currently hosting a giveaway for a pack of your choice from The Sims 4. Now you may be wondering, how could I enter said giveaway? Well, it's actually really simple and really fun. So basically all you're going to need to do is download Disney Emoji Blitz using the link in my description down below, get to level three and send me a screenshot of you at level three over on Twitter. My Twitter handle is Miss Griffey over there and you'll be entered for a chance to win a pack of your choice for The Sims 4. It's a really fun game, so I'd highly suggest it anyway. I can't stop playing and uh, it's, it, it's just highly recommend. Big thumbs up. Just wanted to quickly remind you guys about that. But anyway, we are quickly getting into the final shape of this apartment and I haven't even told you what it is yet, but you probably read the title, so you probably know. So basically, I really wanted to build something or renovate or decorate something that was very cluttered. I talked about it in a recent video. And I decided to do a cluttered apartment in this series that we're working on now. And uh, it started with just, oh, this is going to be cluttered. And then it evolved into, oh, this is a studio apartment that's very small and very cluttered. And they just had a baby and it's their first baby and they don't have enough room because it's a studio apartment. So let's decorate that. So <laughs> this is a cluttered, like, first parents, new parents, studio apartment. I'm not sure exactly what it's going to be titled, but you guys will have already seen that. So we start with the kitchen, obviously, because I really like kitchens. And so there ends up being so much clutter in here, both from the regular catalog and the debug catalog. We have baby bottles and diapers and there's just stuff everywhere. And honestly, I feel like if we ever do get a baby update, this would be such a fun apartment to play in. Oh my goodness. I really want them to update babies. It's kind of sad that they're still objects at this point, but it's okay. It's okay. Um... <laughs> We are still working on the kitchen here. Uh, I do have the washer and dryer in the kitchen space. Technically, you don't need to have that here because there's a washer and dryer in the hallway, but uh, they decided they wanted one in here because they're just doing so much laundry and it fit in the kitchen there. And uh, it's just pretty squished in here, to be honest. Adding a bunch of clutter on the bottom of the shelves. I was definitely inspired to do this idea because of these counters that have the shelves underneath them from Snowy Escape. It's so cool to have these types of counters. I'm very, very excited to have them. And uh, so th th they were perfect for this build. <laughs> Just getting some more clutter. We have some like paper plates and napkins and stuff. Maybe you don't always have time to do the dishes. Uh, you're being very, very busy in a very small space. And um, it gets messy quick. Like the smaller space you're in, the quicker it gets messy. But here are some of those bottles I'm grabbing and diapers. Just throwing them on the floor because I'm like, I'm going to use these later. You can't clone them but since they're from Debug. So Messing around with that, I decided to put some of these bottles in the sink and then some next to the sink as well. I wanted it to look like maybe washing some stuff out. Uh, we have a mixture of cabinets over there as well. And I was trying to figure out where are we going to put the baby? And then <laughs> I don't remember if it was my idea or somebody's idea in chat, but basically we decided to convert an old closet. Like maybe there was a closet here and they ripped the doors off of it. And it's going to be this really cute baby uh, nook essentially and I've seen this done a lot with all sorts of spaces whether it's like an office nook a bedroom nook I've seen that a lot on YouTube where somebody will renovate a closet and make it into their bedroom and I just thought it was a cute idea and since babies don't take up a lot of space or have much of anything they can do in The Sims 4 anyway I just thought this was a fun opportunity so I have diapers I have a really giant bottle there I wasn't thinking that that would be like the actual bottle the sim uses to feed their baby i was thinking it was like some kind of little figurine as a decoration getting some stuffed animals up here as well we have a basket full of blankets and pillows and i put the little penguin in the basket and i just i was very excited about that uh addition and some tissues and stuff as well then you can see this is where the bedroom space is it has a little bit of separation but it's technically still all in the same space so it's a studio apartment uh but I, i'm really happy with the size of this it is small but it doesn't feel like too small, if you know what I mean. Figuring out the living room space, I do end up changing out the chair a little while later. It matches perfectly, but I was going for a little bit more of a mixture of stuff that they got for cheap and also some like hand-me-down or flea market type additions. So I end up grabbing one of the ones from City Living in the end, but first we're placing down a table. The table is from the Paranormal Pack. I also grabbed a laptop and put that at the... Um, at the 
would it be bar counter counter area <laughs> oh my goodness uh the counter area in the kitchen where you can sit at the like breakfast bar i mean it's just one little counter it's very small but having a place for your sims to actually use the laptop i thought would be important you could probably use it at the table as well but uh you know <laughs> i just thought it was kind of cute to put it over there it has its own separate space that's a little bit further away from everything else Working on the bedroom now, I'm using a lot of these shelves from the uh, laundry day pack and then lining the wall with this really cool decorative piece from Snowy Escape to just give it a little bit more texture. I thought that that was a bit of fun. Uh, I also added a radiator over by the window and we're putting this ottoman under the table instead and just adding clutter throughout. The cl most cluttered space is definitely the kitchen. It's sort of a mess in there. Uh, but I tried to make the rest of the spaces feel like everything's sort of squished together. We're making this really small changing table over here, combining a dresser from Tiny Living with this uh, ottoman from City Living, a little trash can next door, <laughs> like overhead storage, some tissues, some lotions, all that sort of stuff. I just wanted it to uh, look like it made sense there. And I've never really made a small version of the changing table. Like I've, I've made changing tables in The Sims before trying to make uh, it look more realistic since we don't actually have those, but I've never made a tiny version like that and I really liked it. I'm also adding some kid books out here. We have a dinosaur one and a train one. I thought those were pretty cute. And uh, I think we'll be getting like a remote control. We have the magazine storage over here, a little plants. I just, I imagine that this was like a perfect colorful little apartment for this couple in the city and they weren't anticipating having a kid anytime soon. And then it happened and they just kind of made it work and I think it's a really fun apartment and definitely a storyline I feel like I've played in in The Sims and I feel like a lot of people do. It's, it's just kind of a fun experience to do these different things in The Sims whether it's something you've experienced in real life or not. That's the fun thing about The Sims is being able to do just whatever you'd like whether it's situations you're like I would never want to experience this or this could be interesting or this is something I already experienced you have the option to like represent yourself in the game or just try different things. Uh, anyway, <laughs> I'm just rambling about why I like The Sims now. What has today become? Adding some dirty laundry coming out from under the bed. We also have a lamp on the wall on one side of the bed. And uh, what else? Oh, I added laundry on top of the bed as well. I was just trying to figure out how to make it look more cluttered in here because I didn't feel like it was cluttered enough. And having laundry that's not put away just seemed very realistic to me. Just personally, I like I don't have a newborn baby, but I do have an apartment with three pets and a boyfriend and I feel like my apartment, none of my stuff is ever put away. So I definitely wanted to make sure that this space was very cluttered as well. I know in the past I've done like single mom things or like teen parent things and everyone's like, yes, thank you for showing how messy things get as a new parent. So I definitely wanted to incorporate that into this apartment as well. Getting some more clutter up on top of that bookcase. Somebody had suggested to put the seasons like decoration box up there. And I thought that, that was perfect because honestly, where do you put that? In my apartment, the closet in my office, it's just Christmas. You open it and you're like, oh, that's where all of that goes. Because like, where do you put that in a small space? Where do you put all of your Christmas decorations? I don't have a basement. I just, I have an apartment. <laughs> so uh, I wanted to show some of the storage up on top of the bookcase there. But working on the bathroom now, it's a little bit of a strange shape, so I had to work with it. It should be fully functional, but I will make sure to play test this before all of these apartments get uploaded to the gallery anyway. It's just yellow and blue in here. We have a cute bath mat. I thought that was a nice addition. I do like using the more fun bath mats when there are kids involved. And then, of course, the shower tub combo that is from Parenthood is just so nice. I wish we had more swatches on it or more like that because we only have the shower tub combo from base game that's like a more modern one and then this is the more modern day one with a curtain but I want more with curtains because I just find that very realistic and I would like more swatches or just new new versions of this it, it would be very very nice I'd appreciate it sims team please Th thank you anyway <laughs> that's pretty much it for this apartment I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure you give this video a big thumbs up you can also subscribe to the channel if you have not already and if you click that bell it'll turn on notifications so you'll be notified of every single time I upload a new video thank you guys so very very much for watching and I will see you all next time bye everybody